Hey, once again, Rob, aka Maximum RD, and back with this device. Now, the funny thing is, you I may not have actually uploaded, well, as, I, as I'm speaking, I have not uploaded the unboxing for this device. So, weird. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> you may see this video first, um, just because. Regardless, either way, this is the GPD Q89, and if by chance you do end up seeing the unboxing first, <laughs> uh, then you'll know that what I was actually expecting to receive was the GPD Q88 Plus. That is what I had ordered, and that is what will goo the import uh, distributor for these devices. Uh, ha does have it have listed, and at least last time I checked, that is still how they have it listed. But it is in fact the Q89 by GPD, which is very marginally uh, upgraded device um, from what I've researched and what from Skelton has said uh, over at Ding uh, Dingunity forums. Uh, basically, it's supposedly an updated touchscreen, a better battery life, perhaps, but that's pretty much the extent of the upgrades. Um, but anyways, so that's fine. There's no complaint there. It's, it's otherwise... Um, uh, there's there's nothing less uh, about this system in comparison to the Q88 Plus, at the very least. And I will say that uh, you know if you've followed my Android uh, antics, <laughs> playing around with these uh, cheap uh, import devices, I've had previously the JXD S7100B and the JXD S7800B, which it was had better specs. And actually, to be totally honest, even though this one, this device, in feeling and the look of the plastic and just the soft plasticky buttons and the D-pad and everything, this does definitely feel like the cheaper plastic. It is, it is a cheap feeling device. Um, it's 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 light. Um, definitely lighter than the uh, GXD 7800, but you get the impression that it is lighter because of that, um, because of the cheaper plastics used in the construction of the device. So it does not feel as solid or as well built as the GXD 7800B, but uh, to a little bit to my surprise, uh, as far as function and you know, going between screens and uh, switching between tasks and loading up a different uh, uh, apps, etc. It is much snappier. It's actually how I expected the JXD7800 to perform. I find it much snappier and smoother and responsive overall. So I'm happy there, considering this device was like 100 and, uh, under $107 shipped total. So I can't complain there at all. Um, so yeah, just uh, another interesting uh, delve into cheap uh, Android tablets. Uh, now this isn't the, the now this is not the stock firmware. I never did record that except for the brief moment I booted it up in the unboxing. Uh, this one already I have had applied Skelton's uh, alternate uh, stock firmware, and that was actually for the Q88 device and. There's, it's so similar to this new upgraded uh, 89 model that it worked fine anyway as it was. Um, I did change the the launcher, the default launcher, uh, to um, Apex launcher because I just like it. But it's not the one that would have came with uh, Skelton's upgraded firmware. And speaking of which, it's funny because he just released... Um, I think within the past day or so, it's February 22nd, he just released one specifically for this model, the Q89, and I'm about to flash an update to that. So I figured, well, what the hell, I'll let you watch as I am doing that. So here I've loaded up a rock chip batch tool, and that is what you need. Uh, you need the proper drivers on your system. I heard there's issues with Windows 7, especially 64-bit, but I had that all worked out from the past, uh, working out um, 
flashing my GXD devices and so forth, I got the proper drivers, I got it loaded correctly. So it does work on mine. Um, so anyway, this is the tool for doing the flashing, as you can see right there, and I've already loaded up Skelton's new offering of the Q89 stock firmware. And basically, and I've said this before and I've said it to other people, the difference is whether it's JPD or whether it's uh, JXD, the stock firmwares, they do the job. A lot of people will buy these devices, import them, and be perfectly happy with them. But at the same time, in comparison to what um, some homebrew developers offer and people like Skelton, uh, they basically take, they work on the on the on their version of the stock ROM, which is getting all the crap out of it, getting all the bloatware out of it, getting all the, the foreign uh, Chinese apps off of it, uh, things that may be spyware or whatever. Not saying there is, I'm just saying that maybe. And basically streamlining it, optimizing it, and putting together a nice default fresh ROM without that uh, same bloatware or dubious questionable uh, apps on it. And uh, then allowing you to go ahead and throw on your own um, whatever um, emulators and games, so on and so forth, apps, etc. And it's usually an image and ROM that has been optimized for the device to get that little bit more out of it and take better advantage of the hardware itself. And with that said, I've loaded up uh, his Q89 image, as I've said, and connected devices one. So what will happen now is there's the USB cable plugged into my GPD Q89. And when I hit this here switch, like that, it's, it'll, it will read the device and go green. And then that tells me I'm all set to go ahead and just say upgrade. And this will flash Skelton's Q89 firmware onto my GPD Q89. So there's upgrade. It's going through the steps, waiting for loader, down, download firmware, start. It's flashing, it's working and the percentage is going up. The progress is increasing as you can see. And uh, so now I'll just go down here. And when it's done its work, you will see the result. Let's get this balanced properly, hopefully. Now I'm going to turn off this lamp here so you can better see the device and what happens when uh, it is flashed properly up to 48 percent 49 just have to bear with for a moment and you'll see live in real time the process of updating the GPD device and it uses the same uh, rock chip um, drivers uh, the rock chip I believe they it's known like the chipset uh, in the device and for for the for the rock chip chipset this batch tool does the job uh, it's the same with my JXD S7800B and my older JXD S7100B and now it's just checking the firmware very quickly the progress is going up and then once it's completed that it should I believe um, reboot or prompt me to reboot and then we'll see how it looks after that So yeah, I've, uh, I'm happy with the device, especially for the price, as I said, it's uh, very responsive and uh, quite snappy. It actually surprised me. Um, it, uh, there, upgrade done, succeeded, and, oh, there we go, there we go, legacy ROM for Q, oh, it's funny, it says Q88S by Skelton, I thought it would say 89, but, oh well. Can't find that a partition formatting cache recovery system 440 doing its job and then I think it'll reboot. Okay, legacy ROM for Q GPD Q88S. I was expecting it to say for Q89, but I believe, yeah, the two, the 88 and the 89 are so similar 
that uh, the same ROM works on them both. And here we are in first boot up after switching to Skeleton's firmware. Then I'll go into settings and just make sure it seems to have done the job. Then as I tinker around with it a little bit more, I'll possibly make more videos on that. Oh yeah, looks different for sure. Location consent by Google, yeah, we'll do that. Previous version of Android, you turn off the ability for Google Apps to access your location, turn it back on, yeah, sure, why not. Alrighty, so, oh, it's kept the uh, Apex menu, even though it has done some upgrade, that's interesting. So I'm going to go into the settings, let's see what we shall see about Skelton, Sunday, February 15. Android version 444 before it was a version 44. Oh, so that's good. <laughs> 1970. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, I'll have to uh, set it back up for my wireless connection for my router and uh, start uh, reinstalling some things. And then we'll go from there. All right, looks good so far. That's flashed with Skelton's new firmware onto my GPD Q89. Thank you once again, Skelton. Your work is much appreciated. Bye-bye.